I'm Shrek with Shrek Travel and today we're just gonna go over real quick on how to fill these little propane tanks this is a one pound propane tank you might use it for your grill if you have a fogger for bugs all kinds of many applications but they get expensive right now I believe at Walmart you can buy them two for ten dollars that adds up real quick you can simply buy a little adapter and they have different kinds of them you can get whatever one you like but it feeds right onto this and then right on to your Average 20 pound propane tank that you can get at any gas station or hardware store or whatever. But I bought this one about a year ago for $10 on Amazon. It works perfectly. So now to fill these tanks, it's really simple. There's two ways to do it. One way is you can throw this in the freezer and then when it's real cold, you can fill it using your propane tank and it will get almost to one pound. Not exactly there. If you have a good pair of needle nose pliers, I like the ones with a little bit of a bend. You can get these at any hardware store. A real cheap way to get these though is just go to a pawn shop. You can get them for 50 cents to a dollar. These are an old pair that I actually borrowed from my father to be able to shoot this video. Works real easy. So we're going to start by flipping our propane tank upside down. And then now I'm going to get this real close here. I'm going to take my adapter and thread it on to the propane tank, making sure that the propane tank is off. Now I wear prescription glasses. You might want to have some safety glasses on or something. Okay, so that's all threaded on there. I'm going to thread on now our little tank. I call it the little tank, but it is just called a one pound propane tank. Make sure when you put on your one pound propane tank, you're just hand tightening it. You don't have to get out channel locks and make sure it's extremely tight. Once it's all on there, simply turn on your propane. You're going to start to hear a small hissing noise. And you want to let it fill until that hissing noise stops. Now there's a little inlet, and if you can see this tiny little inlet right here, what we want to do is once that noise stops, we're going to use our pliers and yank that inlet out to release the oxygen so that way the LP gas, or liquid gas, sorry, is going to fill up that tank more. So I'm just going to give it a few more seconds just to make sure that it's good and full. And I'm going to get these pliers in here. This is not the easiest part, so be patient. Take your time. Okay, so we got some air coming out. And we know when it is done because we'll see the propane. When you see that white coating coming around your pliers, you know that it's good. So I can shut off my propane, quickly disconnect. Let me flip this upside down, it's easier. You wanna quickly unthread the one pound tank. Okay, a little bit of pop action going there. I'm gonna, I got to make sure that this is closed remove my adapter now if you have any issues this quick release valve 
you can just take your pliers and push down on it. Now over time, you're gonna save a lot of money doing this. I'm Shrek and this is Shrek Travel. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, and be sure to watch my other videos on how to live full time in a camper, enjoy life with RV living, see campgrounds, and even how to cook inside a camper.